So this is our standard under and over exposure tests on the new Ari Alexa 35. The purpose of these tests is to really get a sense of how the camera responds at different exposure levels. One stop over corrected back uh, is completely usable. Two stops over also corrects back very, very easily. And at three stops over, you can see before it's corrected, that's uh, quite a way over. And again, corrects back completely normally. And what we're looking for here is how it responds and what this does to the image. At four stops over, you'd expect any kind of high-end uh, cinema camera these days to correct back, which it does very easily. Five stops over, we're kind of getting into dangerous territory here. But on the LX35, that's coming back quite nicely. Six stops over, you, there's no way you'd be shooting this through the viewfinder with the LUT on and thinking that's normal, but still corrects back normally. Seven stops over, um, we are a long way out there. And again, this is where it's really surprising that it goes to seven stops over and corrects back completely normally. At eight stops, you can see that on the forehead there, it's starting to break apart. And at nine stops over, that's completely I would say unusable. So seven stops over and still correcting back to normal, I think is extraordinary. And I can't think of another camera that would do that. Um, again, our normal exposure reference here, one stop under, that's gonna correct back pretty easily. And so we're doing these corrections using the raw controls where possible and then pushing those further with printer lights when needed. Two stops under, again, corrects back very easily. Three stops under is, that, again, a long way under already there. And we're starting to get a little bit of noise coming in. Four stops under is still a watchable image, but there's a fair bit of noise. And at five stops under, I think we're losing a lot of the character and contrast in the image. Now, you may be able to do more with these uh, to actually clean up if you had to. But as a starting point, you would say that at three stops under is about as far as you could comfortably go with this. Seven stops under, um, you know, there's, there's very little there. And at eight stops under, you can't see anything at all uh, with the LUT on and it, it's barely visible at all. So three stops under, an extraordinary seven stops over, uh, which is uh, an amazing range by any stretch, uh, I think way beyond uh, what I've ever seen any film stock do. So pretty surprising result, even from uh, this high-end camera that, um, that we're expecting a great dynamic range out of.